Good morning once again from the Sports Desk. Banyana Banyana made history by storming into the round of 16 at the FIFA Women's World Cup, seeing off, of course, Italy in what was their first ever World Cup win in only their second World Cup appearance. The African champions now out to reach yet another milestone. Up for Desiree Ellis' charges is that enticing clash with the 2019 runners-up, the Netherlands. That's going to be happening in Sydney where they've touched down uh, earlier on this morning. Let's find out what exactly we can expect from the Dutch, of course, the favourites, arguably, for this competition. Joining me now is the former captain of Banyana Banyana and Tabeleng Dunga Mudiko. Dunga, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for your time and always joining us here on ENCA. You tweeted um, that or rather you x we don't know what to call it these days, when we got to 90 minutes and they added 11, and you said they are going to score in this 11 minutes and we're going to win this game. And then I remember Musiri Simohono coming to you and saying that because you predicted exactly what was going to happen. What is it that you saw in that team in those moments that said to you, these girls are coming with it? Yeah, Maureen, I think at that time, you know, nothing else was uh, important to me than seeing the girls win. Um, they had to be triumphant. They had to be victorious over the Italians. And at that moment, when the scope, uh, the referee's uh, board was put up for 11 minutes, I could see the momentum that uh, towards the 88th minute, 90th minute, Banyana was gaining over the Italians. So I thought, you know, they, they are really on a high and they are bound to get a, a goal. And lo and behold, you know, it just happened that way. Desiree Ellis' charges, I don't know what the coach has done this time around, but I don't think I've ever seen Banyana Banyana so ferocious in their attack. They've, they scored the opening two goals, um, the first goal at least in the opening two games against Sweden and then against Argentina. They scored again. We've scored so many goals in a World Cup, which I think is more than we've scored in a number of major tournaments before. What are we doing differently in this World Cup? Why do we look so mean when we're attacking? I believe it is the you know the in inclusion of a number of players that have the quality you know you've got Tembi Khatlana definitely she is bound to score any and every match but besides her you know because the focus will be on her um you get players like you know Jemens Oposeno coming right there and I think the one the one thorn in many defenses side is uh, Hilda Magaya because mm. she's always there she's always just making sure that she's in the box to get a goal a lot of focus goes to Tembi but we've got a number of um, um, scoring uh, scorers that are able to come up and make, be able to get the goals for us. The Netherlands smashed Vietnam by seven goals to nil. When we got that confirmation that we're going to be facing off against the Dutch, a lot of South Africans were like, ah, okay, there comes the reality check. Let's now come down back to earth. I am a great optimist, although I keep being told not to be. Do we have any kind of chance against the likes of Miedema in that Netherlands team? Do we have any way of upsetting a Dutch team that is now looking like the firm favourites to actually go on and win this World Cup? I'm worried about that question, Morena, because anything that I say, you know, it will be as if I'm the prophet that is coming up with uh, things that are to happen. But you know what? Looking at this World Cup, there's been so many shocks. There's been so many surprises. You know, your German is out, your Brazil is out, and they were taken out by teams that, you know, you could dub them the the newbies or the mm. ones that were not even given a chance so a, a Netherlands and lucky enough for us Medima is out of uh, because of injury she has never even taken part in this uh, edition of the World Cup mm. but there are other um, um, uh, you know prolific players on that Dutch team that will be able to cause a big big pain in, 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 in our team but I think you know um, there's a chance for us I think uh, the Dutch you know given their FIFA ranking given the the stardom that is in that in that squad they have a lot to lose unlike us with us you know um this is the highest that we could ever go and we can only soar higher than this so it will be for the girls to just go all out for the girls to actually play um they've played against netherlands before lucky enough last year um in 2022 uh, in preparation for the wafcon they played against yeah. netherlands and the dutch you know they gave us a five so i think you know for this time around it's it for me it's it's, it's a it's a good game. It's, mm. it's one where actually South Africa can be able to win. I think we're going to win. I believe we're going to win. Yeah. But, you know, um, it's for all for us to just sit and watch because I think they've been preparing for this game. I believe we're going to win as well. Dunga, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure speaking to you. The game is going to be at 4 o'clock in Sydney, the Netherlands, up against Banyana Banyana in the round of 16. All the best to you ladies as we continue this build-up.